Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes. Thank you so much for stopping by. Welcome to my channel, welcome to my studio for those of you who are new here. And if you are new and you don't wanna miss out on any other videos that I post, uh, please subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button below in the description or on the Anne Makes in the bottom of your screen. Also clicking on the bell will make it possible for you to be notified every time I do post a new video. I have uh, haul videos, especially dollar store haul videos because I love to buy the crafting supplies there, but I also do DIYs, how to's, product reviews. And today I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you. So here we go. So one of the first items I wanted to get, and that is why I went to Dollar Tree, was to get one of these baskets. Uh, these are basically just your regular kind of trash bin, uh, or you could use this for any of people use it for more than trash, and I'm not gonna be using it for that. I will be using it to store uh, tall rolls of paper and that I have in my studio. Um, because the container I have right now is just, it's not working anymore. It's um, it's too small, so I needed to get something a little larger. So I got that. Then I was in need of more picture hooks, so I bought this little kit at Dollar Tree. Uh, it is the tool bench line. You, you get 55 pieces of for a picture hanging kit. So you get all these and it comes in this reusable little case. Always practical. And the other thing I wanted to pick up was some jewelry finding. I am in the need to repair a necklace for someone and I'm in need of little lobster clasps. So I couldn't find any lobster clasps in these packages that they sell at Dollar Tree. They probably sold out of everything they had. And so, what I did is I saw they had these glass bead kits and there's two little lobster claws in there. And since I wanted beads in these autumn shades that I call, I got two packages of these different kinds of beads so I can do a little crafty uh, project with the beads and I'll have the little jewelry findings that I needed for that necklace repair. So I got those. So those are items I was really going in for that I needed. And then, well, the rest, you know the story. <laughs> so I did stock up on some other jewelry findings. I love buying these little packages of jewelry findings at Dollar Tree. You cannot beat the price. These are all from Multicraft and uh, Craft Medley products. So love that Dollar Tree in Canada um, sells great craft supplies from uh, this Canadian importer. So very happy about that. And they have these packages where you get five and these are ornate toggle clasps. It's kind of hard to give them justice here with the packaging, but what a good deal that is. And I also got these ones in silver. They're a little different shape. So I got a few of those. And I got eye pins. I'm, when I start using eye pins in a project, I tend to run out all the time. So uh, these are head pins, I should say. These are round head pins. And when I start using pins like this in a project, I always run out. So I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna get three packages of these while I see them because I don't wanna run out and then go back to the store and they don't have any more. And it's the same for the eye pins. I already have eye pins, but I said, nope, I'm gonna take an extra package so I don't run out for my ne next project I have to do. In the hair accessory aisle, I was looking at hair accessories, but more for crafting purposes and home decor purposes than for my own hair. <laughs> And I really love the brand Goody. And they had these lovely little barrettes. Um, they call them bobby slides. They're like little, they're flowers on these gold bobby pins. And I just thought these were very, very pretty. 
and they coordinate with a file folder that I found and some washi tape. And I just thought this might be very cute as a type of paper clip in a planner project or just in any kind of craft project. Uh, you can find some really pretty things in where they have the hair accessories and repurpose those things for crafting purposes. So that's why I got these ones. And oh, speaking of jewelry finding, before I forgot, I forget, I picked up another package of these kind of rose gold keychains because I figured they're really pretty. And if I want more of these, I probably, and when I go, I go back to the store, they won't have any more. So got them now. I got three rolls of washi tape. I like this design. And I know I did not have that at home. I also got this design. And I thought I had this one at home, but uh, I made a note of it. And uh, when I got home the other day, I saw, I checked, and I thought, oh, I don't have this one. I had noticed that there's like a little fox on it, or not a fox, it's a chipmunk or something. Yeah, a little chipmunk. So I thought, nope, I gotta go back and get it. So I did get one. And these little owls, <laughs> same thing for the little owls. I was sure I had this, but the tape I have does with owls is very different from this one. So now I have more rolls of washi. Uh, I had to get one of these. It's so silly, but uh, yeah, I got it anyway. It's, what do they call this? Uh, sour flush. So it's a toilet bowl filled with that soury, sugary powder and a lollipop at the top here. But I was, I just thought, okay, even if I don't eat the candy, I just wanted the little toilet for you know, like a miniature, a miniature toilet. Put this in a dollhouse or a fairy garden. I don't know, but I just thought, hey, isn't that cute? Anyway, so I just wanted the miniature toilet, so I got this candy. I got two of the fishbowl type of vases the round ones. I got the smallest size they had and the bigger size because I know uh, come fall and early winter I will be wanting some of these for making some decorations and I just thought I'll pick them up now instead of coming back in you know November and they being they'll be all sold out so I got a few of those. I know I got some last year but I had only bought a couple last year so that's why I bought a couple more now. And then I thought I should buy these dowels. That's something I didn't have in my stash. These little round dowels. I have some bigger ones, but I thought, you know what? I'm gonna get these now in case I do come up with a project and I need that. So there's 15 in this package. And then this one, they're, they're skinnier. There's 40, I think. And no, 60, I'm sorry. There's 60 in this one. And then the shorter, even skinnier ones, there's a hundred. So I got this assortment of little dowels for future projects, home decor, craft projects, you name it. You can make flags with these. You can make, oh, toys, uh, miniatures. There's so much you can do with those little dowels. And I don't know if I've been sleeping or what, but I never noticed these stickers before. They're actually alphabet stickers, and these are the Crafter's Choice, I think, and Crafter's Square, and they're all white letter. I can't give it justice here because of the plastic, but you'll have to trust me. They're alphabet stickers, and they're all white, so I thought, oh, that is very, very practical to have for decorating, making signs, uh, making labels, so many uses for that. And I had seen the Balloon Blast Gems. I had hauled some, and I thought I had these, but again, another thing that I had not hauled in the past, or I, this color, I, or if I did, I can't find it. So I picked some up today. I got that. And oh, something that would have been great when my boys were younger. 
uh, was, is this building tape. Have you seen this? It's sticky back kind of building block or like Lego or mega blocks or connects, whatever tape. So your blocks can stay on and you can make like, you know, strips and here they show like they, the children made a little road. I like, this is amazing. So uh, they have it, in, my store had it in green and in blue. And so I got one of each because I thought maybe I'll, I'll come up with a project or even if I don't come up with some kind of project, uh, this will make cute little stocking stuffer for the Lego fanatic or fan or a child that plays with building blocks. Um, so I just, I got them for that. And they had put out a whole bunch of new, um, we call these scented wax melts. The linen one, they had restocked the linen scent one and it's my favorite scent, so I got some more of these. And in terms of snacks, um, the item of the day at my Dollar Tree was the turtles and I do love my turtles. So I did buy, I did buy some and I really like this little candy. So Fuzzy Peach, Menard's uh, Fuzzy Peach candy, 100 grams. Yeah, I got that for movie night tonight. Another uh, food item I picked up were, was the chow mein, three minute chow mein noodles. They had just put out a whole case of these on the shelf, so I got two of these. We love using, uh, make, making these noodles when we make a stir fry or any kind of, you know, we have Asian vegetables and meat and it's just, yeah. We love to make these noodles. So easy, so inexpensive at Dollar Tree. And all this. So, yeah, good deal. So I got a couple packages of that. And I just used the last sticky back hook, uh, but it was um, the 3M command hooks uh, in somewhere here in my studio, and they didn't have any more at Dollar Tree. See, this is what happens. When I go to Dollar Tree looking for specific things, they're out. <sighs> so I got these ones anyway. I'm not crazy about these of uh, this other brand that they have at Dollar Tree. I don't have a lot of success with it. I find these hooks fall off quickly. However, I have in the past bought the packages of command hook strips, the sticky strips, just the sticky strips. You could buy them in packages and I bought a whole bunch of them because I thought if I decide to take a hook down and put another hook, I, I can still reuse the plastic hook. So that's what I do. So anytime I decide, oh, I don't need that hook on that door anymore or that wall, I pull it off, save my wall, blah, blah, blah. But I save the little plastic 3M command hook because I have extra strips to reuse the hook again. And often the hooks themselves can be quite pricey in the stores. So what I also do is with this, it could say lesser quality sticky back hook is I will remove the sticky that's on this and I will use the 3M command sticky back. <laughs> so that's what I got these. And do I have, yeah, I have a couple of other things. Uh, I saw these pretty folders and I just, I love the color. Very bright, very pretty. They're the polyvinyl ones there. Very, very easy to clean. You can spill stuff on here, no problem. It's got pockets. And I thought it's a great material. It, you, you can easily cut this material. So I was thinking, hmm, I'm gonna buy one to use as is. And I think the other one I'm going to use maybe to make some planner dividers. I can cut this up. And that's why when I saw this tape, I thought, oh, the coordinates, the colors coordinate. And these hair clippies, I don't know, I just had a moment there where I thought, oh, these would look so pretty all together. So yeah, maybe I will do that. Now the other stuff I have to show you is, oh, a container. So my other noodles some more hooks, 
I was telling you about and oh this container I have a space here in my cupboard that is long and narrow in height and I, I it's wasted space I didn't have anything a container that fit in there uh, so I got this like one of these food containers and I hope it fits I hope it's just the right size because then I can put stuff in here and stick it in my cupboard and I will have used up every little inch of that cupboard <laughs> no wasted space none whatsoever oh another food item that I found but I've seen these before but they they didn't have them for a while are the Triscuit the sweet sweet potato Triscuit sweet potato unroasted onion I'm sorry uh, Triscuit crackers I like snacking on these I can't eat chips. I do eat chips a little bit, but uh, I really like crunchy stuff sometimes. And uh, this is really low in sodium, so I can get away with munching on this when I'm really craving the crunchiness, uh, but I can't have the salt. So I got this for little old me to snack on. And I did find Oh, I found this book and I thought this was really cool. Uh, this is Anne Brasher's, Brasher's Sisterhood Everlasting. It is uh, basically the sequel to The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. I don't know if, if you're familiar with that book or they made a movie out of it as well. Uh, but I did read the first book. I did see the movie. Eh. But uh, when I saw that they had this book at Dollar Tree, I was like, Come on, for $1.25, even if I don't think it's a good read, I did I did uh, enjoy the first one, Sister Red of the Traveling Pants. I thought, well, why not? I could see what they're up to now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I got this uh, paperback book. Should be a very easy read. So I got that. And I got some contact paper. Uh, let me show you the other one that I really wanted and I did get. Oh, and I got a second roll of that tape because I just really like the color. So I really wanted some of this shelf liner, self-adhesive contact paper type of shelf liner in the wood design. And this was the last roll they had in this. They had the lots of rolls of the darker color, but I wanted this shade. So yeah, so I got one. I hope I'll have enough for the project that I can't remember what the project is now, but I know I had a project in mind and I was out of this. So I have to, re I have to remember now what the project was. Anyway, I needed this. And then I saw this one. I thought, well, this is kind of neat. It's very neutral. It's kind of a, I don't know, sandy granite color. So I thought, hmm, this might be nice to cover up some boxes or just to give them a clean look. So I just thought I'll have it in my stash since I'm attracted to now. I better I better buy it so I'll have it one day for another project. And oh, a tip for you guys is that if you have an electronic die cutting machine such as the Cricut, which is the best machine there is out there by the way, <laughs> or the Cricut Maker, the Cricut Explorer Air, all the Cricuts they cut vinyl including this kind of vinyl yes people you can cut this into sheets stick it onto the sticky mat with the protective sheet on the back and keep keep the protective sheet leave the protective sheet on the back and you can cut out your own designs there you go maybe you didn't know that free tip of the day and uh that nope that's not it i keep forgetting I have these bins. I found these bins. These are new at my Dollar Tree. They may not, they may have been around at your Dollar Tree. I don't know, but this is the size of them. And I got three. I always buy stuff in threes. Um, and then if I need more, I find it easier to go buy more. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so I got actually three of these and they stack really nicely. They're a little bit narrower than the shoe boxes and I and I measured them in the store and according to what I measured these should fit perfectly in a cupboard that I have uh, that is not as deep as some other cupboards and the shoe boxes that I have in the 
this current cupboard have to go in like this and I lose a few inches in the front. So I want to see if if I can transfer the contents of some of those clear shoe boxes into this and that way my the use of space in that cupboard will be more efficient. I'm all about using up every inch of space, okay? And last but not least, I bought this bottle of Nestle Pure Life. I have to go put this in the fridge. Uh, sparkling water with lime. I got this for my son. He really likes this stuff. So uh, I like it too, actually. It's very tasty. And uh, yeah, so I gotta go put this in the fridge. So that's it. That's it for my uh, Dollar Tree haul uh, this morning or this afternoon. And I hope you liked it. And so I really appreciate it when you guys give me likes and you make comments. Uh, please share this video if you'd like to because every like, every comment that you give, shares, really helps boost uh, the algorithms of my YouTube and it just grows my channel. And it just means I know that you guys want me to keep doing videos. And uh, they're free to you, but uh, yeah, I need to know that I have that support. So thanks again for watching. Stay crafty, and I'll see you after the next video. Bye.